in the church, man. Oh, yeah. And this is Laura burning breakfast this morning. <laughs> you know what? Wow, we all watch. And what? Wow. Watch her burning <laughs> breakfast. Hey, peanut gallery. This bridge was crazy cool and super scary too. We saw the narrow bridge sign, but uh, that did not tell the whole tale. I don't know if you can tell as we're driving over, um, but our camper was just, you can see the truck is barely within the lines and the, the truck's coming towards us are the same way and the camper is just barely um, within the lines and it just the whole thing was a little eerie a little creepy but it was beautiful to get up there and get that eagle's eye view of the river the mississippi com you know coming out of its banks it's always beautiful and there's something um just as beautiful about it coming out of its banks like this too and so we were able to really see what that looks like as we crossed over and made our way into Wisconsin. our destination we've been traveling in the north and it was early May and we found that we were uh, really coming across a lot of uh, interruptions we had a lot of campgrounds that weren't open yet in North Dakota and Minnesota and then as we got into uh, further down into Iowa uh, and Wisconsin then the Mississippi was out of its banks and so a lot of our um, campground options we had there were not options and we found this place right on the Mississippi and you'll see in the video here further they're having some water issues too but they're open and and it was a great stay We made it to the Mississippi and it's raining, which is okay. It's going to be awesome. It's supposed to be thunderstorms tonight, which I'm totally excited about. It is harder with a five-year-old because he's been cooped up in the car all day, so he really wants to get out and do something, but we'll keep him occupied in the camper and have a great time with thunderstorm. So just now we're trying to set up the grill and get some food started. Washington is where Uncle Guy and Kim were born. 
And over here in Ohio is where Grandma was born. Then to Wyoming. Then back to Colorado. Then to Arizona. And then back to Colorado. And then to Kansas. And back to Colorado. And then to Oklahoma. And then to Texas. And then back to Colorado. And then back to Texas. And then back to Colorado. <laughs> And then to North Dakota. We had a great night here last night. The thunderstorm made for really great sleeping. We're out and about now. We're done with breakfast. And we're out to see these, this river. And the water is really high on the Mississippi. And the process right now is there's quite a few people who stay here seasonally. And they are... Uh, moving. I don't know if you can see the river behind me. Sun's in my eyes. Sorry. But um, all the campers down there who stay here seasonally are moving because the river's so high. So we're going to go see if we can get some footage with the drone. We're really still learning with the drone, but I think we got some pretty good footage here. You can tell that the Mississippi is way outside its banks. Um, you know, it, you shouldn't see all the trees in the water. Um, you can see that the river is coming up right almost to the railroad tracks. It's also uh, butting up over the edge of the campground itself. And just so you guys know, if anybody, if you're ever in this area, um, this was in Wisconsin, uh, in a town called Prairie Duchian. Prairie Duchian. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, but uh, it was it was beautiful. The topography was amazing. The host at the campground was really generous and kind and helpful. The campground is clean. The bathrooms were clean, the showers were huge, and they were free, by the way, as well. So um, I think we paid $35 for uh, one night here, so it wasn't completely outrageous. And um, the people, the folks here, were really friendly and um, fun to get along. They uh, enjoyed chatting with us the next day, this day that we're taking this footage here when there was no more rain, when the rain had gone away. We had really wished we could stay a little bit longer at this particular campground, but we had to get on the road um, to be in Illinois the next day. So, but we had such a great time here. Look, you can see the, the water coming right up over the beach there um, and into the actual campground itself. Uh, this was a couple who were really interested in the drone that are walking around here with us. Yes, okay. 